Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me for this week's Pick a Card Tarot reading. Now it's for the week commencing the 20th of September 2021 already. Uh, and we're in springtime down here, down under, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, you're in fall. So a lovely change of pace uh, for all of us, in fact. It's really very, very simple. Just pick a number now between one and five and I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you. I like to have a little vision before I turn the cards over. Do you have your card? Okay, do you have it? Uh, if you want to pick more than one number, you can uh, can get a little confusing if you pick too many numbers. If you're new, subscribe and be alive and uh, hit that notification bell right now. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's go to the board and have a look at these cards. All right, so card number one, card number one. Let's see. I'm going to go with that one. I've already pre-shuffled them. Uh, now, I'll close my eyes. Little white or light coloured car. Very pale coloured car. I saw this the other day um, uh, in something. Uh, also, I think it was one of the horoscopes, the October horoscopes. Uh, and so this is an old-fashioned car. It's a bit like a Morris Minor or something like that. So you might notice this week if you pick card number one that uh, something from the past comes back. It could be an old idea or a belief system or something. Something from your family uh, perhaps or something you've inherited. Uh, and so, okay, although it does the job, it gets you to where you need to go, uh, it probably doesn't do it in a very modern kind of way. So yeah, just notice perhaps you're saying things, things coming out of your mouth that your mother would have said or something like that. The card that comes up is the King of Pentacles. So this is fabulous for your money. Uh, this indicates that money's on your mind. See he's dressed in aubergine here. There is a an element, if you like, of intuition about money and what's likely to um, happen. Uh, it can indicate that more money is coming into your life, that you're going to see um, a way through, like it's a bit of a breakthrough. Uh, if you've been having financial issues, you see the light at the end of the tunnel now. It's generally a very mature, experienced type of energy. Uh, not really the time for gambling uh, or things like that, however. Uh, so you can feel quite uh, quite positive about that card. All right, now number two, card number two. Let's see what comes out. Okay, we'll go with that one. I'll close my eyes now. Oh, still on this. Uh, what ideas have you inherited from your family about money? Okay, what do you believe about money that has come from your family? All right, now, card number two. Oh, I've still got money in front of me. Um, okay, this is a little bit different. Now, somebody's offering me a bowl of grapes. That's saying to me, it's time to have a bit of a reward. The fruits of your harvest, okay? If you've been working, buy yourself a small gift. Uh, you know, if you can afford it. Uh, just because you deserve it basically uh, so it's like spirit is offering you a reward of some kind for card number two there's also a lot of gold I see too there's gold here in the card and there's gold here on the swords this is a two of swords this is a very useful sort of energy for uh, self-reflection, uh, going back and uh, making some decisions about things, about your life. You have to cut some things out, but um, it's quite uh, it's quite useful. Uh, it's um, it's also, I guess, gives you faith. Okay, to continue on. Uh, it's and it can be also listening to authorities though you need to be a little bit cautious that you're making up your own mind not listening to people that you put on a pedestal okay people that you put on a pedestal 
watch out because they can fall off. Now the issue here is you can see that there's two sort of reflections here. These are reflections from the past. So you're making your decisions on these uh, things from the past that happened before. It doesn't mean though in the future this exactly the same thing is going to happen. They're actually clouding your vision. So do watch for that as well. But it's time to cut some things out of your life. Uh, and make rational decisions is about being logical okay uh, okay and not accepting things on blind faith don't blindly follow people anybody really you have to listen to yourself okay card number three card number three hmm. Hmm. okay all right, so what's this gold medal around your neck if you've picked card number three? Uh, this is like spirit giving you some sort of recognition or accolade. Uh, it reminds me of an eagle. Uh, there's a sense of freedom or liberation from this. Again, there's more swords that I see. So you need to make some decisions uh, and cut through all of the dross, you know, basically to get to the core of the matter. This is a bit like um, the angels, angels and demons in heaven that are fighting. It's like I'm in the sky and I can see. You could feel like you're in conflict or in two minds about something and you're not sure which way to go. But there's this sort of conflict, this inner conflict going on. And again, I feel like um, your logical mind can help here. Logic is a really useful thing. Uh, the trick is to get the balance, okay? So you need some of it, uh, but you don't want to run your life so that you lose empathy or lose feeling uh, for humanity because there's there a lot of people suffering at the moment. The card that comes up is the Queen of Wands. This is fabulous. Now, she does have a mind and she uses it. Uh, the thing here, though, is it's not the be all and end all she's a very well balanced person queen of wands wands is about spirit uh, but she also listens listens to her intuition see the bengal cat down the bottom here she's seated on a wooden throne this means she's practical she's going to take action with the baseball bat here the blue the indigo is all about intuition and spirit the sun insight and awareness and a lot of growth and opportunity she wears a crown on her head, so new beginnings in her thoughts, okay? So although it's wands, it's all about spiritual fire and passion and inspiration. She's balanced with it uh, across all of the realms. You'll see here she's got a, a golden sash around her waist, okay? So, um, and the sunflower is here, reminiscent of the sun. This is about the solar plexus, the fire in the belly, to go ahead and achieve, to actually take action and achieve. So that, that's a fabulous uh, card uh, for this week to get stuff done. All right, card number four. Uh, stick around to the end. I'll do a psychic channeling. Whatever I see, I see. We'll see what turns, uh, turns up. Okay, card number four. I'll go for that one. Alrighty, and close my eyes. Big wooden doors opening up in front of me. Something old, uh, something from the past. Oh, what's this book? Ah, it's your book of life. Uh, it's leather bound and it's got gold embellishments on the front. It's in gold embossed. Uh, and the pages are all turning, uh, turning quickly. They're like faint or pale blue pages with faint lines and um, interesting for you uh, the page that I'm turning to now is written in pencil that means it can be erased there's something here about karma that you can undo this week uh, there might be some anxiety or a confrontation um, you have to confront something probably in yourself uh, and there's some anxiety about looking at a situation that happened, but it really is the best thing uh, because with this, you're going to be free uh, from this karmic pattern. And there's more kindness, more nurturing coming into your, coming into your life with this. I'm um, wondering now, how's your relationship with your mother 
uh, because this could be something that um, happened between you and your own mother. Okay, so something there. Ah, ah bingo. Uh, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so uh, this is a motherly energy and it's something from childhood because look here, here's the rocking horse, okay? The fires of hearth and home, being comfortable, having um, the feeling of security. Uh, if you're not comfortable and you don't have the feeling of security, then uh, there's something in you that needs to be resolved, and but it's karmic, okay? Maybe talk to your mum about it. Uh, if you can and if she's not here uh, then you can talk to her in your meditations but it is a beautiful card and it does suggest uh, the end of a cycle so a new cycle beginning because it's a ten of cups so it's quite an emotional time uh, but it's a very positive time and you can release the karma now alrighty card number five card number five let's see what turns up Okay, close my eyes now. Card number five. Okay, I'm in, I don't know if you call this a desert, uh, It's but it's rocks. There's a lot of sort of, a bit of sand and rocks. This is, this is the US, by the way, and it's somewhere like Arizona uh, or Utah. Utah, it's more Utah perhaps. Uh, and so I see there's uh, very strange rock formations. Okay, so this is to do with your body. Your focus this week, if you choose to do this, is on your body and the areas of your body that are sort of petrified. They're sort of um, frozen. And so the oxygen hasn't been getting into the muscles uh, in the you know correct amount. And you can bring movement to that area of your body which will help uh, unthaw this sort of petrified rock uh, that I'm seeing. So there's something, and it's a good thing because, you know, it could affect your health long term. So it's a good thing to focus on your body, get some movement, and, and you want to really open up your blood supply and into the cells and get those cells um, moving, basically. And uh, respiration is also the n another word that I'm hearing. I don't know if cells do respiration. I don't know if that's the right terminology. Uh, somebody out there who's <laughs> uh, into those sorts of things can let me, a microbiologist perhaps uh, might let me know. Uh, but the cells, it's like they're, some of them are just stuck. You know, they're not moving and uh, we've got to get movement into your life and into your body the card that comes up is a two of wands this is fabulous for leaving a restrictive situation okay so you'll see a stone fence here with a gap in the stone fence you can step out of it now anytime you want action needs to be taken see the red and the baseball bats it's not going to happen overnight if you don't do anything uh, but you need to you know take some action with regard and see this rock here all of this rock in this uh, stone wall uh, this is another little sort of sign that there's areas in your body that need attention okay so you can you can go for it freedom and liberation is at hand okay we haven't got any major arcana uh, this week uh, so we've got pentacles swords wands cups and wands okay a lot of fiery inspiration for moving forward in life okay so they're the cards now i'm just going to close my eyes and see what i can see for you for this week starting the 20th of september 2021 okay a, a, a people walking a people with umbrellas I, yeah uh, walking with umbrellas, we don't need the umbrellas at the moment like, um, oh, okay, I need to correct myself. Some people don't need the umbrellas at the moment. Some people do. They're putting them up. Okay, I get what this means. It's saying be prepared uh, because it might be a rain, a sudden, you know, uh, downpour and uh, rain indicates tears. So, yeah, be prepared so you don't get caught out. Uh, by some sort of changes in the overall sort of um, global uh, 
uh, climate, if you know what I mean. Like the, the background of energy, be prepared because there could be some changes this week. Now they're showing me an arrow being launched into the air, but there's something going across it. So it becomes a cross like that, uh, which breaks the energy. You can still achieve, uh, however, it may not be at the speed or there might be some delays uh, in something this week. So yeah, just because this arrow is going up and then there's this cross that I see. But you'll still get there just be determined and uh, pick your time sometimes we're all gung-ho about something and it's not the right time we might be ahead of ourselves or a little bit too early uh, so it's a great time for planning and putting things into action might be a little bit more difficult now they show oh wow i've never seen this before now there's a hand come from heaven and it's got a bag of money and they're sprinkling the money on everybody uh, and so that is change uh, because these are coins that I'm seeing, gold coins. So that means that there's golden change coming. But yeah, it could be regarding money as well. And uh, next thing I see, it's like an old-fashioned washing machine. So getting cleaned up, getting ready. Again, the, the theme is preparation. That seems to be, you know, the theme running through all of this. The washing machine is about cleaning up your act. Uh, and getting ready to prepare for the changes that are coming but um, yeah I, I love that it's like the hand of God sprinkling it has a bag of money and all these gold coins are falling out onto people you know down below <laughs> so a lot of transformation in the wind and uh, we know that too because next month in October I've just um, nearly finished all the horoscopes uh, there's four planets uh, turning direct so there's a big surge forward next month in October so do check out your horoscope I've got Aquarius and Pisces I'm doing right after this okay so that's it everybody hope this is useful for you uh, share with your friends on your social media leave a like or a comment that would be fabulous thank you so much I hope you have a really wonderful week and uh, if you're new subscribe and be alive Okay, thanks again. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com, for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.